thought, you know, we made a lot of improvements from last week and uh, a lot of things we can work on, obviously. But overall, we, we took a step in the right direction. Uh, just overall efficiency, communication within, you know, the line and the running backs. You know, overall, we, we did a really good job of, of, you know, just playing better as a team, you know, trying to get more comfortable with all, everyone. And uh, I think, you know, we're really starting to, to hit our stride. And, you know, hopefully we can keep that going. How much was the, what was the communication like with Brian there? And, you know, the second time out there, uh, <laughs> you know, it sounded better on the, on the headset and that kind of yeah, I mean, it's, it keeps getting better, you know, every every time we go out there. Um, you know, every time, you know, he gets in that situation, we just get more and more comfortable with him. And, uh, you know, that's a testament to how much faith and trust we have in, in Coach Dayball. Coach Saban said the tight ends are going to be systematically better this year. What have you seen different in, in you guys' responsibilities in this offense? Right, you know, we'll always, you know, our first priority is going to be blocking for, you know, the running back and our great running game. But, you know, we definitely have some more opportunities in the passing game. I think you guys have seen that. And, uh, you know, it's up to us to make the most of that and uh, really capitalize on that because they're, you know, calling our number a little bit more this year. What do you think your role will be? More of a Y or kind of like an F? Um, you know, I, I'm not really sure exactly what my, you know, exact role will be. Whatever the team wants me to do, you know, I'm more than happy with doing that. You know, I just care about, you know, our success as an offense and whatever they want me to do, I'm, I'm going to do that. It's a nice kind of going to the season. Knowing that you'll be a more, you know, focal part of the offense, whereas the last few years, even with OJ here, didn't essay seem like he was a target. Right. You know, um, that's something that we we just got to keep working on as a tight end group. You know, we're we're definitely, um, you know, gonna possibly see some more passes come our way. You know, I hope, but. Um, until we can really like establish ourselves as a unit, you know, we, we don't know how much we're going to get, and you know, it, it's up to us to to create those opportunities. And, and whenever we do, you know, hopefully it'll pay off for us. How have Miller and Irv both improved since the spring? You know, they've improved improved a lot. Uh, I'm sure you guys have all seen. You know, they're they're becoming dynamic athletes. You know, they're really blocking really well right now. Um, they're really getting open. As you can see, they're really good athletes. Um, so, you know, everything that they're doing is is helping them. You know establish themselves and, and help create our identity as, as a tight end unit and give us great depth too. How would you describe the opposing defense that you both against for the last 15 days? I mean, uh, all the words that describe, you know, tenacious, hungry, um, you know, explosive, powerful, anything you want to say there really, um, you know, it's it's such a blessing uh, getting to go against our defense every, every single day because it's going to help us in the long run. You know, getting, getting to go against our defense will prepare us for any defense we'll see and you know I think that's a testament to how good you know our guys are on the other side of the ball and you know just how great the coaches are getting them prepared. How much of the tape did you watch up for today? Uh, a little bit you know we're, we're really focused on you know completing camp right now and um, you know just getting ready for this huge game that we have coming up so you know we've seen we've seen a little bit of them um, and uh, we're really you know focusing on um, perfecting ourselves you know before we really dive into this big preparation week coming up. What was the summer like Right, you know, it was definitely, you know, something that um, thrived us and, and motivated us and fueled us to um, be even more hungry and work harder in our workouts. Obviously, it didn't end how we wanted it to, um, but that was something that gave us a lot of motivation to, like I said, work even harder in the summer. And uh, I feel like we had a really good summer workout program. How do you balance using that as motivation, but also not letting it sort of overshadow the goal of this season? Right, you know, it's. It's definitely something that's hard to do. Um, you know, like you said, you can use it to, to fuel your fire, but you don't want the fire to, to get out of control. But I think we did a really good job of, uh, you know, kind of containing that and, you know, realizing that, you know, it didn't work out how we wanted it to. But because of this, you know, we're going to work even harder and, you know, focus on this season. Who's the toughest guy for you? Uh, is there a, an all option? Because they're all pretty good. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I have a ton of really hard matchups every day, you know, whether it's Anthony Jennings, Terrell Hall, Christian Miller, Deshaun Hand, um, the list goes on and on. You know, all those guys are pretty much anyone who's playing defensive end or outside linebacker for us is someone who's going to give us a really good look and someone who's obviously a really great player. So they, they all have their own unique abilities and um, things that they're good at compared to each other. And, you know, they all give me a really good look. What you mentioned Christian Miller. Could you elaborate a little bit of what makes him? Yeah, I mean, he's a really great athlete. He's really long. He uses his body really well. He's explosive. Um, I think you guys all know he's a really great pass rusher. Um, he's really tough to block. Uh, 
coming off the edge, and uh, you know he's getting stronger and stronger every day. And you know he's it's hard to win the C gap against him because he plays his, his position really well, and he's a great technician. What do you think about the? They lost quite a bit of production at the outside linebacker group. What do you just think about this uh, next wave of guys coming up, and do you think they can match or equal what? what they've done in the past. Absolutely. You know, we, we have always had really great outside linebackers here. And, you know, I don't think this group's any different. You know, we have a ton of really great athletes, young athletes who are smart, hungry, um, great physical players. And I don't think we'll miss a beat because, you know, they're great players. And um, they got to see how it was supposed to be done last year. You know, whether it was Ryan Anderson or Tim or, or anyone like that, they, they know what is expected of them. And they're going to, you know, do the best they can to, to accomplish that. With the concept system that Brian Dable Brought. I mean, how, how much does that allow you guys to switch personnel formation and even run a lot of different plays just basically off of the same kind of ideas? Right. I mean, that gives us a ton of flexibility. Uh, like you said, we can, you know, switch out personnel. We can have, you know, one tight end in the game or we can have three tight ends in the game or we can have, you know, all wide receivers. You know, it's that gives us a ton of flexibility and we have the athletes to accomplish that. So just having that sort of versatility really helps our offense, you know, go to a new level. What's it like then learning that system? I, I guess mm -hmm. that you know some of the ideas that he brought from. Right. I mean, it's it's definitely a complicated offense, but that's a good thing. I mean, you don't want your offense to be overly simplified, and um, he's definitely brought in a, an explosive, um, intricate offense that you know is tough to learn, but at the same time is is going to be really good. Brian said he wants to mix and match what what Alabama's done well in the past with Jalen and RPOs mm -hmm. and stuff, as well as what he's done with the pro style and that kind of thing. Put a number on it. How much do you think is going to be a little bit of what he's brought in, and mm -hmm. how much do you think is some carryover from previous? Right. Years? Well, I, you know, I really can't you know put a number on that per se, but I, I I can tell you that we we do have a lot of our other stuff that we've done in the past that worked great for us, and a lot of his new stuff. But I I don't think I could give you an exact number. Excited for the eclipse.